previously on Organization Motivation, we met Anne, the Executive Director of the Kirkland Town Library, who shared some of the library's interesting history. And we got a quick look at the library storage room. First, there was a cluttered drawer full of wires. You think Gail will be able to part with any of those wires? Well, I'm here with Gail, and we're going to try to figure out what these wires are. So, somebody tried to be organized, and I'm assuming that was you, and so there's little notes. What is this? To right. an old printer? Right, um, Delcor and dual monitors. Oh yes, because some of the desks, like Ruth has two monitors for her computer, and if we want to do that again with two monitors to one computer, okay. we need this kind of And this out. is the right technology? Well, that I am not positive about, yes. so I can ask Marshall, but. Okay, let's make a Marshall pile. Okay. Marshall is their right. tech guy, um, and so let's make a Marshall pile, because I know myself, you know, I do some technology when I do my speaking engagements, and this is very dated. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if, unless you have old computers that you're right. using, I don't Not even... Not so many old anymore, but I have had somebody go through this recently, another one of our tech people, so... Okay. But anyway, yes. Let's create a Marshall, Marshall pile. pile. Over here. Yes. Okay. okay. Great. Yes. Yeah. The CCS is the Clinton Schools. Okay. And we have some computers provided by them, hooked up to their network and their program, so kids can come here and do their homework and only log into their school account. Perfect. So this is theirs. Now this looks like, again... Um, yeah, an extension to... So I'm not, that definitely I don't know about. I got an idea, Gail. We're I gonna don't need a bracelet. I'm just going to make you a bracelet! <laughs> So what I'd like to do with yeah. these, instead of throwing them kind of at the bottom with the wires, I want to create a file for these. Any of these that we're making the decision to save, I want to create a file for them. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this back to um, the declutter team. They're going to make a file folder for you. It'll be right next to where we're or like organizing what we're keeping. Folder. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, ladies. I got the stuff that's going to go back in the bottom. So, Gail, when we opened up this bottom drawer and found all the wires, we also found these files that are full, these that are all empty. So I guess my question is, do you need everything in here? Do you know what's in here? Do we need to refile it? Can we use the drawer for something else? What are we going to do with this? Okay, well, that's a very good question now, and I realize that since we have a million extra hanging files as well as a huge pile upstairs, we can get rid of some of those hanging file things. Good. These actual files, yes, this is a lot of history stuff, so... It could probably be gone through a little bit, but for the most part, we do need to save this. But we, there are probably some history stuff somewhere else also, so we could put it all together. Right, so we're going to consolidate. We're going to take right. these out. We're going to take these out and use this drawer for something else. Well, why can't we just keep these files here and then my wires, too? So the wires that we go through? Yes, and okay. actually that's, it used to be full of wires. Right. And so now it's not very many wires, and okay. so I'm much more organized. So I think if we could figure out what the wires are, make sure we label them, and only the ones that yeah. you need, we're going to save and yeah. bring back and into here. And I think here. they are mostly labeled, but yeah. I'll have to figure out where we have another filing cabinet, so it's true, we need to put all the history together, and it, this might be a good spot for it, actually. Okay. So. So what we're doing right now is they seem to have a lot of little plastic sign holders just kind of piled up on a shelf, all different sizes. So I think what we should do is like group them, like size this together and maybe have them standing up on one of these shelves when we're done. So they'll be easier to get to. Yep. 
Yeah. But you know what I love about baskets? They're great, but look what happens. They become clutter magnets. So this is just a little bit of everything, and I think we're just gonna need to figure out a better way to organize it and make sure everything in here is really needed. So this is nice. What you can do, I think most libraries have this. If you want to put this in memory of someone that passed or even somebody that's still alive, I know um, when my children were little, we used to do it in honor of their teachers. So you can actually donate a book and then it goes inside the book so that your name is always in there and then the person that you're donating it to is remembered. Don't go away. You won't want to miss this awesome transformation. Follow us on Pinterest at Declutter Coach.